All right, so today we're going to use iChat on your Apple computer. What you're going to need is a Mac, uh, either laptop or desktop, that has a built-in webcam and microphone or a USB webcam and microphone. So, let's say you are in St. Louis and your mom is in Chicago and you miss her. What are you ever, ever going to do? Well, you can write her a letter if you want to. She might like. You can give her a call, but that's so 20th century. What you really need to do is do video chatting. And on the Mac, it makes it super, super easy. The first thing we're going to do is locate iChat. Uh, either notice it in your dock, or if you don't find it there, you'll find it in Spotlight. Go to the top right-hand side, type in iChat, and you should find it pretty quickly. One of the first things you're going to see is account setup. You can choose AOL Instant Messenger, Google Talk. Today, we're going to use Mac.com. It's free, and it allows you some pretty cool features within iChat that I think you'll absolutely love. So, create an account, just like any other account creation, they're going to ask for your information. You can easily opt out of emails and postings from Apple if you so choose. Once you create that, it'll bring you right back to iChat. And then that will allow you to input your new username and new password. So do that and hit done. Once you do that, you're going to see a little pop-up on the left-hand side or somewhere on the screen that shows that account. Notice that I'm available. We're going to click Add Buddy to add a new person. So I set up an account for my mom. Uh, not that uh, I wanted any random YouTube people to find her. So set that up and hit Add. Notice what happens now. You're going to see a little icon there that showing that she's offline or she's not available. Now she's available, this little green button there. We're going to double click on it and say, hey, what's up? How are you doing? This is just like any other instant messenger that we're used to. So we're going to say, hey, you want to do a video chat? She probably would say, yes, absolutely. So once we do that, we're going to go back to the initial little buddy creation there and find the little green video button. The green video button shows that she is available to do video chatting. So we click that, and you're going to see a little pop-up of yourself. And there's me with all my bearded wisdom. And it's going to wait for her to accept the video chat. And then all of a sudden, there she is. So you're going to be able to see it in the small screen like that. If you click the little plus button on top of the video screen, you'll be able to go to full screen. I notice the video is a little bit choppy right now. That's not because the service is not solid. It's just because the video uh, capture service that I did for this computer was a little bit slow. What I'm going to do now is start dragging photos right into the video screen. This is a really cool feature that Apple allows you to do in iChat. So if you just drag the photos right to it, it does something called iChat Theater. You can also do a send to the other person. Notice on the top it says send to mom. But all I'm doing now is just dragging the photos. I want to be able to talk about those at the same exact time, which is really, really nice if you go on vacation or you have new pictures of the kids, things like that. Once we get done with that, I'm going to do something that really, really makes such life easy on the Apple, um, is taking over people's screens. Uh, and now we're going to mess with some of the effects um, in iChat. So we're able to click on that and actually show off some of the cool effects that you can do on the screen. Um, that's kind of the Andy Warhol picture. Uh, you can do some different effects that make it look fun and interesting, uh, which some people love, some people don't. Uh, notice the effects in the bottom left-hand side. What we're going to do now is actually taking over the screen. So this comes in handy a lot when either you have computer problems or you're the geek of the family and you're taking over someone else's computers. So notice I clicked on that and said send screen or screen sharing. And once she accepts this, I'm actually going to take over her computer. So right now this is her computer in Chicago. I'm moving the mouse. I'm able to access any program, any, any file, any setting on the computer. This comes in handy a lot if uh, you're the parent and your kids are away from college and you forget how to do something. They can take over the computer screen without trying to explain it over the phone, which is really, really nice. So once that's done, we're going to squint it back right to back to my screen um, and then say goodbye to mom. So I really appreciate mom, my mom being the guinea pig of the video. So hopefully that helped. Hopefully you enjoy using iChat. If you have any questions at all, uh, feel free to email me at the email right here. Have a great day.